geometric sequence. So a geometric sequence is a sequence to where each term after the first term is obtained by multiplying a constant term called common ratio. Whenever that we are dealing with problems involving geometric sequence, we may use the formula a sub n equals to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1, wherein a sub n means the last term. a sub 1 means the first term, n means the number of terms, and r, which is known as the common ratio. When we say common ratio, so it is simply as the quotient between a term and its preceding term. And we may use the formula r equals a sub n over a sub n minus 1. So how does this formula work in finding the common ratio? Example, we have the sequence 2, 6, 18. So what could be the common ratio of this given? So for us to find out, we just simply need to find the quotient between a term and its preceding term. So here, let us use the second term, then b divided by the first term making our common ratio equals to 6 divided by 2. So therefore, the common ratio of this geometric sequence is 3. Okay? So how about this one? Negative 4, 20, negative 100. So again, for us to find the common ratio, we use the second term by, divided by the first term. So let us have now 20 divided by negative 4. So 20 divided by negative 4, so the answer here is negative 5. Another one. Negative 12, negative 6, negative 3. So what's the common ratio? So just only dividing the second term, which is negative 6, by the first term. So in this case, what we do have is negative 12. Dividing these two, so the answer is positive 1 half. Another one, 216, negative 36, positive 6. So what is the common ratio? Again, we use the second term, which is negative 36, be divided by the first term, which is positive 216. So dividing these two properly, therefore, the common ratio under this geometric sequence is negative 1 over 6. Okay? So last example in finding the common ratio. 1 over 9, 1 over 3, then 1. So what could be the common ratio? So it doesn't matter what kind of numbers that we are dealing with. So we just simply follow the steps. We use the second term, then divided by the first term. So what we do have is 1 over 3, be divided by the first term, which is 1 over 9. Dividing these two fractions properly, so we will be able to get that the common ratio is 3. So this is how we get the common ratio. Now, let us see how does the formula works in geometric sequence in solving problem. What is the 13th term of the geometric sequence 1, 2, 4? So let us try to solve this problem using the formula under geometric sequence. Using the formula a sub n equals a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. So let us first gather information that we will use to substitute on our formula. So first is the last term. So we don't know what the last term is. For the reason that the last term is not evident on our sequence. So our last term remains unknown. But a sub 1 is known as the first term and we are seeing the first term here in our sequence. So therefore, our first term is 1. n means the number of terms or the n term. So we, can, we don't know how many terms that we do have. But we are seeing the n term on our problem. And our n term is the 13th. So therefore, our n is said to be 13. Next is the common ratio. So what is the common ratio? As what we had earlier, to find the common ratio, first we use the second term, which is the number 2 on our sequence, then b divided by the first term, and our first term is the number 1. So 2 divided by 1, so obviously the answer is 2. Okay. So we do have now enough data to use on our formula, so let us now proceed in substituting. Okay, so we cannot replace a sub n again, but what we can replace is its subscript, which is n. And the value of our n is said to be 13. Making it equal to a sub 1, and our a sub 1 has a value of 1. Times r, based on the computation that we made, our common ratio is 2. Then raise to n again, so our n is 13. 
minus 1. So the writing our equation, what we do have now is a sub 13 equals 1 times 2 raised to 13 minus 1. So after substituting, let us now start simplifying. So let's start first simplifying our exponent, which is 13 minus 1. And we all know that the answer is 12. Okay. So what we do have now is a sub 13 equals 1 times 2 raised to 12. So after doing that, based on the order of operation, so let us start simplifying our exponential part, which is 2 raised to 12. And that means that we are going to use that 2 12 times multiplying to itself, which is 2 times 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 2 and times 2. So giving us 4096. Thus, our equation now is a sub 13 equals 1 times 4096. So simplifying these two, therefore, our 13th term is 4096. Okay? So I hope each step is clear. Therefore, the 13th term of the geometric sequence, 1, 2, 4, is 4,096. Let's have another example. Find the 8th term of the geometric sequence, negative 243, 81, negative 27. Just like what we did on our first problem, so let us first gather the information that is required for us to use this formula under geometric sequence, which are the values of a sub n, a sub 1, n, and r. But of course, our a sub n here is still unknown because it is not present on our sequence. a sub 1 is the first term and our first term on our sequence on this problem is negative 243. While n is the number of terms or the n term, our n term here on our problem is the 8th term. So therefore, our n is said to be 8. So again, our common ratio. Our common ratio can be determined by using the second term. So, which is 81 on our sequence, then be divided by the first term. So, our first term here is negative 243. So, dividing this two properly, therefore, our common ratio under sequence is said to be negative 1 over 3. So, we do have now enough data. Let us now proceed to substitution. So, A7 cannot be replaced, but we can replace our n, and our n said to be 8. Equal to a sub 1, our a sub 1 is negative 243, times r, which is negative 1 third, raised to n, our n is said to be 8. Okay, so let us rewrite our equation properly and clearly. So what we do have now is a sub 8 equals negative 243, times negative 1 over 3, raised to 8 minus 1. So just like what we did on the first example, so we start simplifying first the exponent. So here, what we do have is 8 minus 1 and the answer is 7. So what we do have is a sub 8 equals negative 243 times negative 1 over 3 raised to 7. So the next thing that we need to do is to simplify the exponential part. So just like this one. Okay, so if we simplify negative 1 over 3 raised to 7, so that will give us negative 1 over 2,187. So, next thing that we need to do is to multiply this two. So, negative 243 times negative 1 over 2,187. So, we will be able to get the value of the 8th term, which is negative 1 over 9. Okay? So, if you're having difficulty of simplifying exponential terms, so you may use calculator. So, that will help you a lot. Okay? So, hope this is clear. Let me now give you an example to wherein we can apply these concepts in solving real-life problems. So, let us have this. The bacteria on a glass slide are multiplying exponentially. At first minute, there was just only 3. After a minute, there are now 18. And the next minute, after, there are now 108. In 10 minutes, how many bacteria will be present on the glass slide? So, whenever that we are solving problems, so first we gather information that we may use in solving. So, first is, what is the sequence present on our problem? So, as we see, the, st the bacteria started from 3, then becoming 18, then becoming 108. So, meaning, we can use these informations. So, these informations, this sequence falls under geometric. So, we will be solving this using the geometric sequence formula. And what is being asked? So, the question on our problem is, after 10 minutes, how many bacteria will be present on the glass line? 
So let us now use these informations to substitute on our formula. But first, what are these informations? So the last term is something that we don't know. Okay? But we do know the first term based on our sequence. The first term is 3. How about our n? Since we are asked to determine after 10 minutes, so therefore our n is said to be 10. And our r is based on the second term divided by the first term. So that is always the usual thing to do whenever that you are going to look for the common ratio. Okay, so you use the second term divided by the first term. So 18 divided by 3. So the answer is 6. So let us now use these informations to substitute on our rule form under geometric sequence. Okay, so let us now substitute those informations that we have gathered in the problem. So therefore, our a sub n now will become a sub 10 equals a sub 1. So our a sub 1 has a value of 3 times r, which is our common ratio, which is 6, and raised to n, which is also 10. Therefore, our equation now is a sub 10 equals 3 times 6 raised to 10 minus 1. So to start simplifying, we start dealing with the exponents, which is 10 minus 1. And 10 minus 1, the answer is 9. Therefore, our equation is a sub 10 equals 3 times 6 raised to 9. So based on the order of operation, we start simplifying the exponential form. So 6 raised to 9. So meaning that we are going to use that number 6, 9 times multiplying to itself. So which is equal to 10,077,696. Thus, our equation now is a sub 10 equals 3 times 10,077,696. So, the last thing that we need to do is to multiply these two. So, therefore, our a sub 10 is equal to 30,233,088. So, therefore, after 10 minutes, there will be 30,233,088 bacteria on the glass light. So, that's how quick and exponentially those number of bacteria can multiply in a very short period of time. So that's why we need to always maintain our proper hygiene and always be clean. Okay. So hope you understand how to use now the formula under geometric sequence and how to gather those informations and use in solving problem. So thank you for watching.